All right, hey guys, Gunmuncher Zero here, and welcome to Gut Plays Minecraft. And this is the Friends of Gut Room. And as you see, I have had uh, comments on my videos by War Goddess, Riku, and Pixelated Pig. And so their names now are uh, here on the uh, Friends of Gut Wall. And I think I might give them. I think I might do like three separate signs. I might. I might do separate signs for everybody. Uh, I don't imagine I'm going to get enough uh, signs, you know, that I'm going to end up filling up the room or anything. So I think that would be cool. And then uh, the other thing is uh, I invited somebody to uh, name my cat and Pixelated Pig uh, posted on uh, my YouTube and named the cat for us. And so this is now Jasper. Jasper Leonidas. So hello, Jasper. How are you, so? All right. And uh, I've been doing a lot of work here. Um, if you look off, uh, you can't really see it from here. If you look off over that way, uh, my friend Battleberg's been building, and uh, there's a mountain over there, and he's built a fort on top of the mountain. And then he sort of has a walkway that comes over here, and he's got a little building there. And that's above the tree farm area where I've been growing trees. So that's cool. But um, hopefully he won't keep getting closer because that's about close enough, I think. And then um, over here, I put a tunnel or a uh, tower up. And this goes all the way up to my uh, nether, nether portal that I put on top of this mountain. And you can also get to it from my roof. And there's a walkway on the other side. And I don't know... I. I'm kind of torn about this walkway thing. I don't like those windy walkways. I guess I could just do a, a, a ladder, you know. And then, oops. Actually, I connected the nether portal. And so that nether portal, that way, connects to another portal next to Battleberg's house. He's not here right now, so we'll, we'll look at that some other time. This one over here... Uh, this connects to, I've got the uh, nether fortress down here. And, excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Right, so I've got the nether fortress down here. And then, off... Um, This way here, I have two blazes, two blaze spawners. There's one through here, and then there's one right above here. Right up there. So that's cool. So I'm going to level this all out and make a giant uh, double blaze farm. That'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. And then down here, I've got uh, another wart farm uh, that was already here. And uh, I put a portal at the uh, village that's in the middle of the map. And when I did, it actually spawned a portal here. So I moved it down here so it wouldn't be attacked by ghasts. And I'll just show you. I don't know if you saw there, but I've got two pretty good picks now. Uh, they're both uh, efficiency 4 unbreaking. And so here we are. This is now we're in the middle of the map. Let's see, from uh, up at my house. So that's, that's pretty neat. I like doing that. It's a lot faster to do it uh, through the nether. And I'll actually connect those portals with, uh, you know, I'll connect them with a railroad. That'll be cool, won't it? That'll be neat. I'm looking forward to doing that. You know me and the railroads, right? And then, um, now here I had a guy, I had a, I had a librarian and he was trading uh, an emerald for uh, 35 paper. And so I started getting all this paper, and I've got like a ton of paper now. And I got and like a dozen emeralds out of the guy. But then when I came back, here he is. Now he wants, uh, now he wants to trade books. And the first trade's completely gone. So I'm, I don't understand what happened there. That's uh, aggravating. Because I'd rather not trade a book. And then there's also a priest around here, and I need to level him up. Right now, 
Right now, the deal that he'll do is he'll do uh, an iron sword plus emeralds, and he'll give you a bane of arthropod sword. And so I might as well have that because I can use it against the spiders in my in my spider farm that I'm going to build, right? And um, that so that'll be cool. So let's go back. All right, and now through the magic of editing, uh, we're back here. And so this is at my house. Oops. So here's this tower again. And like I said, I don't know about... I don't like to climb those spiral stairs like that. That's the quick way down. Alright. And so... And then... Uh, oh, I'm just looking at this to see if I like it. Uh, I might do the bottom out of that. Um, and so this is just silk touched uh, lapis lazuli. Right? So I might do the bottom out of that. And then uh, down here... Um, we've got melons. Because Blue Ocean found the... Uh, yesterday he was mining. And he found the um, abandoned mine. So we've got uh, some watermelons. And uh, I've got my cows over there. I had to put some fence on the inside to keep them from glitching in. Uh, the baby cows were just disappearing because they were glitching in. This way goes down to my mine. I don't know if I showed you guys that before. And then, interestingly to me, I uh, would swear that my mine went off this way. But what happened is, when I got about halfway down, there was a lava lake, and I think I'd made a wrong turn when I got about halfway down. But that's okay because I would rather not go towards Battleberg's house because he's gonna, I'm sure, gonna mine underneath his house. And uh, but what I found was if you go down this way is the, the area where I've been doing my strip mining. And then over this way, way down at the end of this hall uh, hallway that I'm digging out is almost oh, I ran out of steam I can't run uh, I'm so tired uh, my legs uh, okay here we go gut munchers and so this is skeletons right so that'll be awesome so this will be good so I'll be able to have my XP farm there and um, I was just doing the minecart trick there to Find the spot. Nom nom nom. And today, uh, in today is uh, actually Sunday. It's Memorial Day weekend, so I actually have two days off this weekend. I've got Sunday and Monday off, so that's cool. So anyway, this is Gummetra Zero. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Have some potatoes.